Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Mitch uh, from Dumb Money Day Trading. Just another daily recap for you here. The time is about 10 o'clock in the morning. It is June 10th. I'm done trading for the day. I actually finished at, um, my last trade was 9.37 as you can see here. I'm uh, just doing a, a quick trading recap for you. Um, so you guys can see what I've been up to for the morning. And so for today, uh, we've actually made about 1100 USD in profits uh, so that is close to 1500 Canadian which is which is awesome I'm very happy with that just because uh, my daily goal is only $500 a day right and so I've exceeded that today I exceeded that yesterday so yesterday I did 2500 Canadian uh, today I did $1500 Canadian so uh, for the week doing pretty well very happy I'm not gonna push my luck and I'll take you through the trade today you can see here my, my various the trades here so um, obviously not every single trade is a winner but the trades that are going against you what you want to do is you want to cut your losses very quickly and get out which is why you minimize your losses right so I lost $66 here uh, $89 here $47 here $65 here on one of my winners I got um, 175 and then on my biggest winner jfin i'll take you guys through this trade here um 1250 right and so i netted out positive for the day and that's what you want to do uh when you're day trading understand that when you're making a trade and it's going against you which means your hypothesis was wrong you get out right there's no reason for you to stay in a trade once it's already proven to you that that you're wrong don't don't stay in the trade uh because of pride and wait just so that you could be right right because you never know how far the stock is gonna drop it might you might never be right it might just keep on dropping and dropping and dropping and at that point you your your mind is gonna be like oh I lost so much money already I might as well hang out and, and see uh, if it will ever rebound it may it may not but you're losing precious days with that money that you can be trading and making that money back right so don't hesitate to get out of a bad trade because there's always a good trade a minute five minutes ten minutes later um, so never get stuck in that mindset let me take you through this trade here. Uh, so this is JFIN. Uh, we saw it this morning popping up here. So around uh, 9.27, it started getting tons of volume in. And at 9.27 is actually when I also bought in the stock, right? So I bought in at $9 and I mean at $7.40 in anticipation of it breaking this yellow line, which is the VWAP here. So I knew that if it could break this yellow line, it would go up to at least $9.18, right? So that's $2 a share, uh, which is what actually I was aiming for. Um, but it popped right over this orange line here that we drew in it, and it kept on going up. It pushed all the way up um, to $12.60 something cents, and it opened it, it pushed up even higher, and then it, uh, it halted actually at 9.30. The minute it opened, it pushed up, it halted, for about five minutes there and after the halt it went up again uh, to a high of $15 and it pushed up afterwards so let me show you how I played this and so we can see here at uh, at 9.27 as I mentioned that was my first buy anytime I'm playing pre-market on a stock um, that is slightly more expensive right because normally I buy stocks within the $2 to $5 range uh, this stock here was $7 so I only went in with 250 shares just because I wasn't sure exactly uh, where the stock was going to go and so I bought in at 740 and then I pushed up and so two minutes later so I bought in at 927 and 929 I sold 150 of my shares at $11 so remember guys it's always good to take money off the table right so I wanted to solidify some gains um, I wanted to take some money off the table but I'm willing to risk 100 shares of that right so I sold 150 shares of my 250 shares and I held 100 shares to see where the stock was going to go it was showing a lot of strength so I was like okay let's ride this to see where we're going obviously you want to take money off the table limit your risk and then just ride the rest and you see here I sold the rest at $14.57 that was at this pump right here and I actually uh, actually this pump right here and I actually set a trailing stop and because the computer can actually react faster than you can. Um, and so you can see here, I have a trailing. Um, actually, I didn't even set a trailing stop on this. I just sold it uh, at a market order when it when it hit 1450 because uh, we see this line here as a resistance. So the minute I started about to hit 1450, I hit the sell 
and that's what happened here I sold it at 1457 uh, I got a little bit of FOMO right because as you can see here I <laughs> it broke 1450 and it continued to shoot up to 17 almost 18 dollars and so <laughs> I bought in uh, thinking that it would halt and gap up so I bought in close to 17 dollars uh, because I've made really good money on the day so far what you want to do is you want to de-risk and so rather than move in with 500 shares as I usually do I only bought 50 shares right so if the stock dropped I wouldn't be losing all of my precious gains and which is exactly what happened the stock dropped I said a trailing stop of 30 cents which means if the stock drops 30 cents in one bar automatically sell at market order which is what it did so I lost 30 cents on that uh, on that trade on 50 shares which is okay right so 30 cents on 50 shares is like 20 bucks uh, acceptable loss uh, for a bigger gain I thought it would hit $20 or, or whatnot it didn't and it tanked all the way back down to here eight dollars and so remember guys when you have money and you have the gains you have this ride up take your money off the table because you never know when it's going to reverse you see here the stock is bouncing back up it's still choppy but I'm done for the day I'm very happy with my 1500 um, it's only 10 o'clock in the morning finished trading around 940 now I have the rest of the day to work on other things right that's what you guys want to do um, so take care guys the course comes out June 15th I'll guide you through everything that I do in terms of day trading and then uh, you guys can subscribe to my live trading every morning so you can trade alongside with me do what I do I'll call out my trades before I make them I'll see you then. Have a great day, guys. Take care.